like I'm going for a jog No sweat cause you going out of God Tracks too drippin' taking photos with the mob Pink GTR like I'm rolling with my Nas No time for the hate Grass cut third eye for the snakes Balenciaga is the fit and I'm draped But gang gang got my back cause I'm great Little Kenley Good day, everybody. It's your boy, Mr. Dan Banks, a.k.a. DJ Fine CEO of JTU. We are Jersey Magazine and Jersey Diamonds, and I'm here with Nye. 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 Hey. What's good, Nye? Nothing much. Nothing much. Just working and chilling. Working and chilling. Tell me a little bit about yourself. So, I'm 11. I'm a rapper, producer, um, songwriter, singer, dancer, and model. Um, just a kid. All the above. She does everything. Yeah. That's what's up. Tell me a little bit about your music career and how you got into it. So my dad, my pa my parents, they're like they're musicians. My dad used to rap, and I used to have a big idol, Justin Bieber, Fetty Wap. Fetty Wap was the main reason that I honestly started to rap because my career it basically was built off of my because he was like my celebrity like you know yeah so yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. so it basically started off of him so basically if it wasn't for him i don't think i would be the way i am today okay okay that's good so that's a nice inspiration for you so now um nah how'd you come up with your artist name oh so my name is shanai love so my family they call me nai at first my name was remy girl nai but we dropped the remy girl okay. and we just named it nai, like, up nai. yeah Dope. Tell me a little bit about your style. So, you know, you said you're a rapper. Yeah, so I'm a rapper. I like old school music. I don't, I really, I listen, trust me, I know all the songs from yeah. nowadays. You know? <laughs> of course, of course. Um, yeah, yeah. But I'm not really like into it as much as I like like 80s music, 90s music, stuff like that. Okay. So, give me, give me an old school artist. I'm challenging you. Let me, give me an old school artist you like. Bobby Brown. She already went right there. My prerogative? Yes. Of course. <laughs> That's dope. And I'm guessing that was like your, your, your background, your upbringing. You just heard a bunch of old yes. school music. Yes. Yes. My grandma. <laughs> <laughs> my grandma, um, my mom, my dad. Um, we all are built off of that type of music. So, yeah. That's awesome. So what kind of sound is in your music? You know, you're, you're young and you can pretty much, um, you've done it's everything. It's just yeah. a sound that could get to everybody. Like, it could get to little kids, adults, teenagers, anybody. You could listen to it, you could listen to it. Yeah. We was listening to it, it was like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. They, little kids could listen to it. My little brother used to listen to it. He was like five, he's five. He yeah. knows all the words. That's awesome. So, and so what do you portray in your music? Like, what's some of the lyrics that you kind of um, come up with? It's like, mostly, the main idea of my career is peace, love, and happiness. Um, want to help anybody that I can. I know I can't help everybody, but I could try my best to help as many people as I can. So basically, that's what I try that's a to message. Yeah, that's an awesome message from an 11 year old. Let's want to put that out. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about this um, this charity that you're doing. Okay, so when I was nine, well, when I was seven, <laughs> the idea popped up in my head to start this nonprofit, non No. Nonprofit Not Foundation. Gotcha. And, <laughs> and it was for, at first we only started doing it for kids. That was my main idea. But when I got nine and it started getting a little bit more professional, mm -hmm. um, I started thinking about adults because, you know, we travel a lot. So, like, when we would go to New York, I would see the people, the adults. Mm -hmm. I would never see kids, but I would know there was kids in need. I would see the adults. Mm -hmm. I would ask for money, stuff like that. So I changed the game plan, and we started doing it for kids in need, adults in need, and things like that. That's awesome. Thank That's you. awesome. And like, so you just had a passion for it just from the yes. beginning. You just you just saw it, and you were like, mm -hmm. so what have you done, like, to contribute um, to that? I went to hospitals. We bought stuff for kids. We go to places like Newark, Irvington. Like pass things out, give the money to the homeless, stuff like that. That's awesome. And how long? And you say you've been doing that for how long? Um, since I was seven. That's awesome. And who are you working with? You have a couple of people that's working with you. I work with Fresh with Two S's. Shout out to Fresh. What's that? Kirk, DJ J Hood. Hey. 
um, Little Karma, Macro, all of that. All, you know? all of you, she all up in the mix. <laughs> all these upcoming artists, awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. So you have an EP coming on the way. Tell me yes. a little bit about that. So my EP is built off of the music that I have done and how I've prog progressed mm -hmm. in the making of music. So you'll hear um, songs with features on there. You hear just songs by myself. You hear sad songs, happy songs, dancing songs, Jersey Club, hey. music, all that type of stuff on there. So. so I think the best song in there, my favorite song personally, is the Jersey Club song because it has everybody on it. It has Fresh, Karma, hey. Curry, hey. Coffee. Okay. Okay. And what, now, did you did you select the artist that you wanted on your evening? Yes, definitely. And how'd you go about that picking process? So, um, I got into it because I messed with a lot of other artists, but I would usually like go on Instagram. Like, whoever fit the right taste, like, if I didn't like their music, I wouldn't have picked them. Like, I had a choice to pick them if mm -hmm. I didn't. So I picked all the people I felt I would work best with and who I was most comfortable with. That's awesome. That's awesome. And you've got nothing but great feedback from them. That's awesome. When's it drop again? Mid-September. Mid-September. She's not going to tell me what's it called. Who's that? It's just great. We just <laughs> got to stay tuned for that. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So um, give yourself a little shout out. Tell them how we can follow you, book okay. you, everything. Yeah. Instagram, it's I am still in I. On Facebook, it's Remy Girl Nye, and everything else is Remy Girl Nye. Yeah. Check it out, man. She lit. <laughs> we got Jersey Nye signing off. Smooth. I like it. I like it's it. Good. Jersey turned out entertainment. <laughs>